Hi, this is Jay Sykes bringing you another quick video. Today's topic is the five most overused and misused watch terms and cliches. These are words and phrases that you've heard all over the place. Maybe you use them yourself. Let's start. Number one, the phrase beach to boardroom. People talk about a watch. They say, this watch is so versatile. You can wear it from the beach to the boardroom. Don't lie to yourself. You've never stepped one foot inside the boardroom. You may go to the beach, you may work at an office and so forth, but don't say boardroom. You've never been inside a boardroom. Okay, maybe you're the janitor and you vacuum at night. Okay, you can wear your watch to the boardroom, I get it. But for the most part, you don't. Now, number two, tool watch. If you're diving, flying, or car racing, your watch is not your primary instrument. There's better technology for that. It's not a tool watch. And once again, be honest. Most people have not done diving, flying, or car racing. Stop lying to yourself. You don't have a tool watch. If you have any kind of mechanical watch, you have either a luxury or a piece of jewelry. It's not a tool watch. What is a tool watch? It's a cheap digital watch like a Casio. This watch you can wear for your morning run or a bike ride. That's a tool watch, not an automatic or mechanical watch. Number three, rare. People like to talk about watches as being rare. They may say, oh, this Rolex was only produced for this year or these many years. It's rare. Once again, that's a lie. If there's a production run of a watch for a year, that's already tens of thousands of examples. It's not rare. I think people try to hype things up or increase resale value, but if you can go online and find the same watch listed for sale multiple times and it says rare, well, it's not rare. A watch that is truly rare will be seen every so many years at auction. That's a rare watch. Moving on, number two, homage. I've never understood why people that talk about watches tend to use this term. Why not use the word clone? Everyone else uses that term in different aspects. For example, in guns, you have clones of 1911, you have Walther clones. People use the word clone, it's okay. Fountain pens, there's plenty of clones of Mont Blanc, but people simply call it a clone pen. They don't say homage. Don't lie to yourself. Now, do homage watches exist? Yes, here's a good example. This watch by Zenith is the El Primero. This is a modern version. It's an homage to the original 1969. And guess what? It's by the same company. If you have a watch which is very similar to a different watch by a different company, it is not an homage. It is a clone. Number five, investment. Watches are not investment tools. Now, people are going to say, well, someone bought a Rolex watch in 1970 and now it's worth all these thousands of dollars. Yes, there is appreciation over time for a watch, but that is the exception is not the rule. People may say, oh, a Submariner is a good investment watch. Wrong. It's not. You're going to lose money. Anytime you buy a watch, you have to look at the time value of money, inflation, and then when you sell it, look at your selling costs. Are there any service fees, how you sell it? Are there any service costs over the course of owning it? You don't make money on watches, you lose money. Now some watches you may lose less than others, but watches are not investments. Stop lying to yourself. Those are my top five cliches and overuse and misused watch terms. Let me know what I've forgotten. I'm sure there's more, but anyway, thank you for watching. This is Jay Sykes, hoping you have a nice day. If possible, bye.